back to my channel. Today I'm doing another Tokyo Kawaii Club unboxing. I literally just got this in the mail today and I want to bust into it and see what I've got. So let me take you along for the ride. Real quick, if you're not familiar with Tokyo Kawaii Club, the merchandise that you're getting comes from either the Disney store in Japan as well as the Tokyo Disneyland Park. So you're getting merchandise that you probably otherwise wouldn't be getting or you probably be getting on eBay for much more money. So that being said, let's see what's in my nailer. Oh my god, guys! Look, I've got the Minnie Mouse winking zoom zoom. I had to think for a second I was gonna call it a nafufi, but no. This is the zoom zoom. And if you happen to see my last Tokyo Quad Club unboxing, I had the Mickey winking zoom zoom. So now I have the mini one. That's great. So at the end of the day, I I have to say I really appreciate the fact that they keep your past, you know, mailers in mind so that they can have complimentary items. So that is great. So so cute. Alright, so starting off on a pretty cute note. As I'm sure many of you know, with Tokyo Quad Club, a lot of the merchandise is in bags such as these. And these are from the Tokyo Disneyland Resort. I had to think about that for a second. Right, so it actually looks like I have a smaller bag within the bigger bag and this is in fact the only other bag that I have so I'm really curious to see what's inside. Ooh, so there's a lot of really cool items in here. I'm just gonna kind of stick my hand in and pull out what I what I get. Oh, got a little scrunched in the mail but that's okay. So I'm guessing these are one of those little mystery pouches or mystery boxes I guess you could say and it says Disney's Marie and you can even see all along the border of this really cute little box it's got Marie from the Aristocats and I do love Marie she's probably one of my side collections when it comes to Disney and Disney pins but that being said I'm gonna I'm gonna see what's in here I haven't seen these before all right so here in the middle you have this little blind bag. Ooh, and it just peels right up. That's fantastic. All right, so what am I getting? Ooh, oh, that's so cute. All right, so it looks like, I think this goes on maybe a cell phone. I want to say this might be like a dangle to go on your cell phone. I Correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like, kind of looks like a, a French macaroon and then here on the front you've got good old Marie and you've got these beautiful roses here on the front you also have some pearls on the side that's just really pretty and it actually looked like Marie is hugging the macaroon and probably gonna savor it herself so that's really neat all right I love these little blind bags I wish we had them here in the States but Again, that's I think one of the best things about this mailer is that you're getting stuff that, again, you otherwise wouldn't be getting your hands on and ah, it just makes this oh so more fun. All right, next up. Ooh, so we have a little tin and I'm gonna guess that this is some kind of edible item inside just because it looks like there's nutrition facts on the back, but of course, I can't read that. <laughs> But with that said, let me take the tape off and let's see what we got in here. Okay, that took way longer than it should have. And in fact, I still haven't gotten the tape off. I definitely need scissors. But I was able to squeak out what was inside the tin. So it does look like this one also has some hard candies. I'll be curious to see if the flavor is similar to the Little Mermaid tin that I had last week. That was sort of a bubblegum flavor and they actually had like little, I think like bubblegum circles all over the tin itself. I'll be curious to see if this is the same, but I have to say the tin is stunning. I mean, that is fantastic. And it says 35 up here, so I think this is in conjunction with their 35th anniversary, which was also on the bag itself. So they're definitely putting on some really cute stuff to celebrate that 35th anniversary. Don't mind the crazies, that's my kids being all sorts of sillies. but. Again, this is really, really cool. 
I'll let you guys know in like the description box below how these how these guys ended up tasting. All right, feeling around. Ooh! Oh wow! Okay, so this is a mirror sticker, and it's the aliens from, of course, Toy Story perfect timing with Toy Story Land opening up, but it looks like this goes on, I'm going to say, the back of my cell phone case? And actually, they're different stickers. Okay. Initially, I thought it was like one big sticker, but it looks like they're individual stickers. That's pretty cool. Again, really cool stuff that they have that we don't have here in the States. Why is that? So that is great. I'm sure I mentioned before, but Toy Story is definitely one of my favorite movies. So to have these little guys. Now, the problem is, of course, as cell phones keep evolving and, of course, changing shape, I would hate to put these on and then, you know, after a year, you know, if I upgrade my phone for whatever reason, then the case no longer applies, you know? But there's two of them, so I will enjoy them for as long as I can. That's great. That's so different. All right. So we have, I think, two more items and a card. Okay. So this looks like a little pouch, I'm going to say. And you've got, again, Marie. And she looks not so much cartoony, but she definitely looks almost like what she would look like as a real cat. And then on the back, you've got all different cats from different Disney movies. So you've got, of course, Sam and Am from Lady and the Tramp. Marie, again, it looks like you have Dinah from Alice in Wonderland. You've got Lucifer from Cinderella. And then, of course, we have Figaro from Pinocchio. So that is really cool. That's so, that's so pretty. I love all this Marie stuff. This is fantastic. All right, so I have one more item, and I did take a peek at it. It does look to be Alice in Wonderland themed. And here we have, this looks to be a letter set. I know I've seen other people unbox these, and to be honest, every time I've seen these, I've been like, oh, those are so pretty. And I love stationery from the Asian parks. I try to order it and get it through Etsy. I know a number of people on Etsy do sell the stationery, so again, I have been able to get my hands on them, but to get this, oh, so excited. If I happen to trade with you in the not so distant future, you're probably going to see these really awesome mailers. I mean, come on, that is so cool. So I'm going to hedge a guess that this is, of course, the paper that you can write on. I'm going to also guess that there's a few different sizes and styles. And then somewhere in here, I think there's, yeah, so these guys are envelopes, so I'll be able to stick them in and you've got Alice and then you have of course the white rabbit and you know the clock you know we're always late but that is great oh I am once again just so so thrilled with everything I got in this mailer I mean they have never disappointed me I I just love it all and I'm already like wondering how what my next mailer is going to be like you know so with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing of my Tokyo Kawaii Club mailer. If you guys like these type of videos, if you guys like unboxings and also Disney pins, then definitely subscribe to my channel. You can click on the logo on my screen over here, and that'll subscribe you to my channel. And definitely hit the notification bell a little further down, so that way you get notified of when I upload new videos. I aim for two videos per week. Let's see if I can stick to that. And with that said, I hope you guys all have a great night.